Hello and welcome back to Simply Nook. I'm Sean, your Senior Support Technician. Today I'm going to show you how to reseat components in your 4x4 Nook. Let's say you get the dreaded no bootable device detected. One of the first things that we would like to recommend would be reseating your drive. Or let's say that you don't get any visuals when you first turn the Nook on, but it is getting power. Um, on top of reseating the SSD, we would also recommend reseating the RAM. Let's get started. So today we're using the H version of our chassis, which includes an additional 2.5 drive. Now with the majority of our H chassis, there will sometimes be a SATA cable that's inside. So when you pull the bottom plate, you'll wanna make sure you don't pull it all the way off. This particular model, I don't have the SATA cable in there. So we're just gonna take the bottom off and set it to the side. We're gonna go ahead and get started by flipping the nook upside down, showing your four bottom screws. And we're gonna go ahead and loosen those up. and move it off to the side, set that there. Now this is gonna expose the board along with your components here. Now, we wanna reseat the SSD first. Let's say that you open it up and you notice that your connectors here are slightly canted or the, the drive is pushed back some. Uh, you wanna make sure that your post is intact, but let's go ahead and unscrew the M.2 here. It's going to lift your drive up to a 45 degree angle. There we go. Now to reseat, you can pull it out or you can give it a little nudge to make sure it is sitting flush. But for this case, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the SSD out. And we're gonna go ahead and reseat it back in at the same angle. We're gonna give it a little shove. It's gonna click into place. And we're gonna set it back down. We're gonna take our M.2 screw. Now just tight, we don't wanna to over torque this. Now that we have our drive reseated, let's say our RAM was canted or it was just popped up due to shipping, accidents, all kinds of things can happen. We're gonna turn it this way. Now that we have it here, we are going to slightly push those apart. It's gonna lift our RAM. Now. We're gonna go ahead and slide that out. I'm gonna set this off to the side so we can reach our bottom stick. Clips to the side, it's gonna lift it. And we can go ahead and pull that out, set that off to the side. Make sure there's no obstructions, anything in here that will block the RAM from seating properly. We're gonna take our first stick of RAM. We're gonna insert it at a 45 degree angle. And firmly, we're gonna push down here to make sure it is flush and then we'll go ahead and push it down, clipping it into place. We'll take our second stick here. After verifying no obstructions in the slot, we are going to go in at a 45 degree angle. Same deal. We're gonna click it into place firmly, make sure that it's flush, and we're gonna push it back down until it clicks in place. And now that we have all of our components reseated, we're gonna go ahead and place the bottom plate back on. Now keep in mind, on H chassis variants, you may need to reconnect the SATA connector. Um, we're gonna go ahead and close this up. I'm gonna turn this sideways here. We'll place our bottom plate back on. And we will tighten down our four bottom screws. Make sure not to over torque them. And that is how you reseat components in your 4x4 Nook. Thank you again for choosing Simply Nook.